Oh. Can't upgrade it anymore. Unfortunate. There we go. There we go. Outside of armor, I've got all I've got all the Whoops. I'm just missing four. And I'm wondering who I think of those four are. Well, that's not ominous. Uh, just to make sure I got all of them. Yeah, okay. I didn't miss one anywhere else, right? Scarecrow awaits. Oh no, all four are here. Okay. Oh, I think I know what the fourth one might be. All right. Cowl and Cape Fear. What's going on here? Where am I? Get ready. Go. Also, we're breaking from formula this time. Because, uh, it's just Batman. Also, call it a hunch, I think I'm tripping balls. Call it a hunch, I think... Uh, <laughs> I think Scarecrow might be involved. Which I wonder, can I block that? No. I gotta switch to... There we go. There we go. Have those equipped for the time being. I don't know what the hell those things are, but they're dead now. Or at least they're going to be. that thing could hit me from here unless it spit at me and I wasn't paying attention which could be very well likely I so I wouldn't normally know who the hell you are but from what I've read she's called Scream Queen which I guess is appropriate the thing she seems very easy to, to uh, deal with. She gotta wait for her to let out big ass long things, tire herself out, and then, well, beat the shit out of her. No problem! Oh no, Robin! You have a problem, Pats. If you want to save him, you'll have to face your fear. I don't remember how Scarecrow sounded. He was in one of the cold opens for the epi for an episode I watched, so I don't know how he sa I can't remember how he sounds. Show yourself, Scarecrow. We finish this now.
All right, you've got some speed on you. Uh, okay, I see. You you've got like some Specter Knight vibes going on. You actually do attack attack a lot like Specter Knight from fucking Shovel Knight. It's actually kind of funny. All right, well, eat shit. Or you know, don't. That works too, I guess. I didn't think that could still hit me. Oh, fuck. Oh, I've got to do the whole first fight again because I fell. Well, that's unfortunate. But now I know, knowing it's half the battle. And my emulator does not like this level. away from him and there we go uh, let's, see. let's actually for this one ow burst into flames I was gonna say, honestly, the battle rings aren't doing me any favors, really. There we go. Should have just been regular punching him. That seemed to work just as well. Robin! No! Welcome back to reality, Batman. What? Then Scarecrow and Robin were merely... A simulation. And now that I have collected my data, I have no need for you. On guard. Yeah, um, spoilers, if you don't know anything about the brain... Um, he typically has a big munch monkey lover that he, uh, uses to take care of people. So, um... That's, uh, how we solve that fight. Ow. And now for the end! Accompanied by the theme music. I don't know how that didn't hit me. Oh, that one did. I think all I just lose is just bonus uh, points for this. Ow. Which I mean, I'm kind of okay with not collecting, so it's whatever. Hey, Brain, I got something for you. And that's it. That's Batman Brave and the Bold for the DS. That was honestly really fun. I'm not sure yet which one I prefer over one or the other. You'll have to... You'll have to probably stay tuned till the end of the Wii playthrough to figure that one out. But so far, this one was really fun. This one definitely feels more puzzle platformer than it does. While it still has a lot of beat-em-up sections, it does emphasize more of getting around the obstacles with the two characters. And I like the fact that both games actually do have different team-ups. Blue Beetle notwithstanding. Um, but yeah, this was overall really good for a DS game. 
I thought it was interesting that the last level doesn't have you team up with anyone. Although I think it would have been cooler if you teamed up with everyone at the end. And they were like like a boss for each one to fight alone or something. Something akin to like um, Spider-Man the X-Men in Arcade's Revenge. Where each one has to go through like their own little section. I think that would have been interesting. But overall, this was really fun. It did get really easy at the end. I don't know if I just picked all the long stages first, but like, I think around that halfway point, like I just started crushing levels in 13, 15, 16 minutes, like under 20, under 20 minutes, sometimes under 15 minutes, which was crazy. But overall though, really fun game. Definitely highly check this out if you really like Batman Brave and the Bold. So, next time, we'll finish off the Wii game. So until then, I'll catch you all later. Asta. I forgot one thing, let's scope out that main menu screen before we go. I just realized I can't. Uh, how do I get back to the main menu? Nope. Well, I know the quickest way to get back. I'll be back in a second. Oh, also, uh, got everything now. There we go. Hell yeah. Now we've got everyone on the front screen. All right. That's going to be it for now, guys. So until next time, catch you all later. Asta. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video... Asta.